Now, if, if you have tools, if you have someplace good to, to cut, you can use a knife like this if you have one of these. These you have to be really careful with, really careful. Maybe have somebody help you. Uh, I'm not going to do it on here because this is a nice cloth thing that I have, or I'm on a nice desk. Um, I, you could, if you were going to cut, you maybe you could put another piece of cardboard under it, maybe even two pieces of cardboard under it, and then, and then I could cut this now because I have two pieces of cardboard there, so I can cut that, and that actually goes pretty nicely. Okay, so you can use this kind of knife if you have one. If you don't have one, you can use the scissors and just cut it. Now this will cut easy because I already, I already did that part. So if you just have scissors, you can go ahead and, and cut. I'm just going to kind of cut that so I can get accurate here. Okay, so you can just cut these pieces out. And again, the more accurate you do the cutting, the more accurate your finished project will be. The straighter you can get this, the better it's gonna slide and work. And get rid of these pieces. Part of the reason I wrote on these is when I'm cutting all these little pieces, I have different pieces. I might get to the end and, and, and not know which piece I'm actually using. So when I get to the end here, I should have, you know, all the pieces that I'm using have writing on them. This piece I don't need. There's no writing on it that I can get rid of. That are no writing, no writing, get rid of. Okay. So, I'm almost done with the cutting. This piece, if you can get this as straight as possible, this will help make your caliper work better. Okay, so there's all my pieces. So here's, here's that. And then on the piece of paper, there's also um, the the scales here. You need the scales too. Here's the put together one. This is jaw A. These are called the jaws. The part the part that slides right here where you measure things. That those are called the jaws. So so here's the jaw. This is kind of the part of the jaw. This is the bottom part. This is this is this piece here. Okay. This is the main beam. The main beam is going to go here like this. Okay, I'll turn it this way so you can see it spelled. Okay. And this is below the beam. This is above the beam. So this is the beam. This is above. This is below. And this is across. See how that goes? Okay. Okay, so now you'd start taping stuff up. Okay, so I'm going to line the beam goes on the jaw A, jaw A beam. So I'm going to kind of line that up there. I'm going to put that here, put that there. I probably should have gone all the way across that. Keep that, try to keep that lined up, kind of put that here. Okay, so that's that part. I might, you know, I might put a piece across here too. Okay, there's that. Okay, now this part, again, that's the bottom here. That's going to go right there. And below beam is going to go here. The below beam is going to have this yellow 
Now, if, if you did in black and white, that's fine. It doesn't have to be color. This is part of the scale, so that when this when this this scale goes to here, you read what this says on that black scale. So I'm going to put that there. Get that lined up so that trying to line up this this edge here and this edge here. So try to put that all the way there. Okay, now I got it on one side. I'm gonna go all the way around this. Okay, and then that's gonna, this is the low beam, above, I mean below beam, so that's gonna actually get taped right to there. So I'm gonna just tape this whole piece to the bottom of this. This I'm gonna make sure that these edges are lined up here. Okay, then the beam goes in the middle and then the above beam goes above the beam. So you gotta, this is gonna to have to be tight enough Squished in here tight enough to hold it, but loose enough so that this can slide. Okay, if it's too tight, it's not going to slide. If it's too loose, it'll fall out. So right about there. I'm going to try to keep that there as I tape that. This, you know, before this one is the cross beam, it goes across. This is the beam, this one goes across the beam, and that kind of holds the beam there. Before I put this on, I'm going to tape this scale, and I want this scale, I want this edge here to line up with this edge here. So I want that to be like right, right there. And if you do this right, I think your tape should be about the same width as this. My tape's a teeny bit wider, but if you just line that up right there, that should be pretty close. And the directions say if you put a piece of tape along this whole thing, it slides better. So I'm going to put a piece of tape along this whole thing. Because then this piece goes up above it, it'll slide. So this goes here. This piece goes across. Once you have that taped on, this should slide like that. So last piece. Now your tape, th this is this is a little wide. You know, I might even cut this here so that tape is is. Uh, the right same width as that piece that I'm taping it to. So if I put that there, tape that there, tape that there. Okay, now I did this one kind of fast for this video, um, but that's kind of it. And then we'll talk more about how to read this and how to measure things with it.